Thank you, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. And it's a little more stressful here than it was back there. But let's talk about identities, right? So Matika spoke about exposure. Raz spoke about exposure. Everybody was saying there's 97 different ways of exposing your information. And I think identity is a new perimeter. And we'll speak about that in our next 10 minutes. But one more thing that I want you to do is give a round of applause for the engineers that are building this. Woo! OK, so let's go back to our log for shell example, right? Matika spoke about the exposure. But one very interesting question is, what is the impact, right? So does it have access to data? Does it give you admin privileges? What can it do in your environment? Does that app do something interesting? Does it store information? And this is what identity is about, or cloud entitlements. Now, let's do 60 seconds very quick on what cloud entitlements are. In a very basic and slide I stole from Matika, the question is, who can access what? So let's try and break it down. The first part is who. Usually, it used to be people, right? I would have to ask Tomer for permissions. He would then give it to me, and I use them. But today, in the cloud, that is different. Virtual machines have permissions. Containers have permissions. Lambda functions have permissions. Everything has permissions. Everything can do something in the environment. And the second part is access. What can it do? Can it read? Can it delete? Can it create? This is really different, right? Deleting something is more sensitive than reading something. We need to know what it is. And the last part is what. So can it read data? Can it go to a database? Can it delete it? Can it create virtual machines? This is really interesting, and this is what we're trying to answer with uh, cloud identities. Now, let's talk about the risk that is associated with identities. It's not only seeing generally who can do what, but also we're super focused on the risk. So we've built the best firewalls, right? Matika mentioned external exposure. So we went ahead and we put the best firewalls. We know all the external exposure, everything in the cloud. We've used Wiz, the best tool for external exposure. And then suddenly is exposed through identities. We're seeing this with keys. We're seeing this with messaging services, with Lambda functions. We're seeing this everywhere. Basically, identity is the new perimeter. We've built walls. We've built moats right around our castle. But then identity comes from the top and lands right inside in my sensitive area. And this is the first risk that we're seeing with cloud entitlements. The second thing is fragmentation. Not only do, does everything have permissions in the cloud, every single asset, every single virtual machine, but more than that, everyone can assign these permissions. Developers, when they start their virtual machines, when they create their cluster, they give it permissions. They don't ask anybody, should I give it admin? Should I not give it admin? They just do what they need. Right? So fragmentation is a really big challenge. The second thing is complexity. AWS, Azure, GCP, Kubernetes, OCI, of course, all of them have different models. And we fix that, right? So we try really, really hard to solve for all of these. But what do teams have today? What teams have today are three challenges. One, a very basic and shallow analysis, very similar to what you had in the network. It's based on a single policy. They would tell you this policy is admin. So what? Maybe it's blocked down the road, just like network is. Maybe it's not effective. The second thing is a siloed view. Everybody knows the toxic combinations, right? If I have just this one risk factor, does it mean anything? No. And we're seeing security teams chasing very um, obsolete and very uninteresting, a lot of times, risks in the, their environment. And the third thing is that identity tools are built for governance teams. 
right? Not built for risk because identity did not used to be such a uh, risk focused thing before. So teams really have a challenge answering a simple question. What if I have an admin key on a public virtual machine, right? Suddenly in the cloud, this is very, very interesting. So how does Wiz solve for that? And this is what I want you to take from here. One, it's all about visibility and exposure. But if you don't know what you have, how can you do something about it? So this is the very first thing that we do. The second thing is effective permissions. We go out of our way to calculate effectively who can access what, right? Not just theoretically, but really give you the effective boiled down version of who has access to your data or your virtual machines or your infrastructure. The third thing is like anything else in Wiz, it's part of the bigger picture. It's all about the toxic combinations. A virtual machine with an exposed key, if it's not vulnerable, if it's not public facing, is less interesting. So toxic combinations and context, stealing Ami's thunder again, is the king. And the last thing is recommendations. So we really want teams not to only know that they have the risk. Great, I have the risk, so what? This is what. This is what you can do. This is what you can fix. And this is how you can fix it. And these are the four points I want you to take from here and also bring back to customers. One, visibility and the risk that is associated with it. Two, Wiz is all about effective permissions. Three, toxic combinations. Maybe there are tools that can do permissions, but no one can also see the keys on the virtual machines. Nobody scans inside the virtual machines. They need the agent or they need a different tool. And four, we provide solid recommendations for the team to go ahead and fix that. And this is what Wiz is about, all the way from the detection down the line to remediation. Thank you, everybody.